Welcome to our lecture online. In this problem, we have an open tank, which means it's open to the atmosphere at the top. And the whole tank is rotating around the central axis at the angle of velocity omega. And what will happen is that the water will, will bulge up to the sides like that, will be higher at the sides than at the middle. And the question is, what is the shape of the cross section of, that, uh, of the top or the surface of the water. So the way to think about it is to go back to a couple of videos ago where we calculated the pressure as a function of x from the center of rotation due to the eccentrical acceleration. And we found that the pressure as a function of x was equal to 1 half the density of the liquid times omega squared times the distance away from the central axis to the axis of rotation squared. And if we want to rewrite this in terms of, of this form, we can write as the density times one-half omega squared times x squared. But then we also know that the pressure due to the horizontal, in the horizontal direction due to the uh, centripetal acceleration, must equal the pressure due to the height of the water, because the pressure here causes forces to exist in all directions, kind of like Pascal's principle in a way, and so pushes the water upward, so the pressure in the y direction should equal the pressure in the x direction, and the pressure in the y direction is equal to rho gy. Well, we know that one already, and so we can say that the pressure in the x direction must equal the pressure in the y direction, which means that the density times one half omega squared times x squared must equal the density times g times y. And what we're going to do now is write that in of, as a function of y, we're going to write it as y as a function of x. So what we're going to do is find y equals a function of x and see what that looks like. I kind of have a suspicion, realizing that the pressure is a quadratic function, I kind of expect a quadratic relationship between y and x. Well, first of all, the densities cancel out, and I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by g which means the g's cancel out on this side, which means that leaves us with y is equal to 1 half omega squared times x squared divided by g. And then if I write it just a little bit differently, I can then say that y, which is a function of x, is equal to the quantity omega squared divided by 2g, and that should be an omega, let me rewrite that, omega squared divided by 2g times x squared, and that looks like part of a regular quadratic equation. Remember, a quadratic equation looks like y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, but if the vertex of the parabola is right at the origin, if we call that the origin right there, and we call that the y-axis and call this the x-axis, then realize that b and c go to zero, and we just end up with y is equal to ax squared, where a is simply the same as omega squared over 2g, which means that this is the front portion, portion of a quadratic equation. In other words, we have ourselves the shape of a parabola when you have water in a tank that rotates about its central axis, the water will bulge up, and the surface of the water, at least a cross-section of it, will re represent a quadratic equation. And the quadratic equation is defined by the constant omega squared over 2g times x squared. So the faster it rotates, the greater the bulging will be. The slower it rotates, the less the bulging will be. So the shape of the quadratic equation will definitely depend upon how fast the tank is rotating. And that is how that's done.